Some reasons why Labradors are the worst dogs Lots of human beings aren't enthusiasts of Labradors for diverse reasons. Labs shed plenty which may be worrying to homeowners. They additionally want plenty of workout and generally tend to grow to be vicious shield puppies while subjected to plenty of sports and training. Unfortunately, labs also are predisposed to a few genetically connected problems. They shed a lot of hair. For including short-haired canine, the lab retriever sheds lots greater than you count on at the excessive common side, at least. Shedding occurs two times a year. Expect the primary heavy losing for three weeks with inside the spring as their thick wintry weather coat alternates to a cooler summertime season coat. Also, count on any other heavy losing for three weeks with inside the fall as their summer coat alternates to a wintry weather coat. However, labs nevertheless shed greater in the course of the year. For those motives, Labrador retrievers want greater brushing than different short-haired canine breeds. If you fail to drag out the lifeless undercoat all through your grooming bonding sessions, it'll fall out in your fixtures and floors. On the brilliant side, Labrador retrievers want no trimming. Labs can have various health conditions. Labs commonly stay 10 to 13 years. However, Maximum of those stay with continual fitness troubles, including arthritis. Sadly, increasingly more lab retrievers are misplaced in center age to inherited coronary heart ailment and most cancers forms. The not unusual place orthopedic illnesses in labs encompass elbow dysplasia, hip dysplasia, and luxating patellofree knee joints. Each of those situations reasons continual age and lameness and have a tendency to require costly surgery. This canine breed is likewise at risk of rupturing the ligaments in its hind legs. They also are at risk of ionesis, which might also additionally motive blindness. This breed is in particular at a higher than common threat for and surprising gastrointestinal syndrome called bloat doubtlessly killing a canine inside hours. These fitness headaches make Labradors the worst breeds to stay with, in particular in case you are indisposed to offer consistent care and attention. Labs can be expensive to buy. Based at the statistics above, looking after labs may be a costly affair. The above noted orthopedic illnesses in Labradors have a tendency to be really deadly, and might probably require surgery. Dog professionals advocate having puppy insurance, in particular whilst proudly owning a Labrador. All those make it a touch difficult to personal a Labrador, in particular in case you spend maximum of your cash looking after your puppies and neglecting bills. Labs need a lot of exercise. Labrador Retriever calls for masses of sporting events to characteristic normally. The Labrador is an lively breed. It is athletic and bouncy and wishes ordinary possibilities to vent out its electricity. This may not be a trouble for you, in particular in case you are with inside the temper for a few workout yourself. However, your puppy canine wishes an outlet for its electricity daily. This manner that even if the climate isn't always precise, you're walking late, Otherwise you aren't feeling precise or psyched, and your Labrador Retriever will nevertheless need to move for a run or be lively. They additionally want enough intellectual stimulation that means attractive sports, which preserve the tharts lively and stimulated. Otherwise, your lab turns into bored, which makes them distinctly unfavorable. Labradors can be very destructive, this is a not unusual place mission amongst labs that aren't exercised sufficiently. Generally, the lab may be unfavorable, in particular at a more youthful age whilst they are feeling distinctly active and playful. Failure to teach your lab on right conduct will translate to torn curtains, scratched fixtures, torn pillows, amongst different not unusual place destructions puppies are at risk of. Their distinctly unfavorable nature makes Labradors the worst puppies to stay with.
Even greater so if you have youngsters mendacity round. Labs may not be good around very young children. The Labradors are affectionate and precise round youngsters. However, much like called different puppies, Labs ought to gain knowledge of to act round small youngsters. Small Labrador dogs will clearly chew and bite on shoes, gentle fixtures, clothes, fingers, amongst different things. Unfortunately, their sharp domestic dog enamel can harm your youngster's fingers without the domestic dog understanding it. They additionally have a tendency to knock down youngsters in play. Therefore, you need to continuously supervise your Labradors round your youngsters to keep away from such types of injuries. This can be a very good and a terrible aspect relying on the way you teach your lab. A vicious shield canine may be a chance in your friends except you're going for that. Labrador retrievers are skilled to be own circle of relatives defensive. That means every person coming near your own circle of relatives might also additionally face their wrath. It simplest turns into a trouble whilst it harms or injures an harmless neighbor or a visitor. However, you could remedy this chance via way of means of education your Labrador whilst and whilst now no longer to assault or be competitive. Labradors are too affectionate. How is that this a terrible aspect? You need a loving canine that offers you all of the attention. Think again. If you've got got hypersensitive reactions to canine saliva, dander, or hair, then the Labrador is the worst canine breed to have. You might also need to look it out on your child who hugs canine pets too frequently. You might not realize this immediately by way of means of the really oily coat preserved down a few dander. A Labrador has a tendency to lack limitations and, much like its cousin, the Golden Retriever may be all up to your business. Seriously, you can now no longer have respiratory space. Depending on who you're, your affections for pets, or limitations set, you can or might not additionally realize and take this as a love language expressed by a way of means of the canine. Labs are people dogs. Unlike sure canine breeds, Labradors continuously need to be round human beings. If you'll get a lab and ought to tie it out of doors the house, this breed isn't always for you. Labradors ought to blend with human beings. Letting your lab engage with human beings in your house is one manner to make certain its emotional fitness. This is a trouble for owners who want a canine for safety motives and need to choose the Labrador canine breeds. While it smiles a defensive puppy, it additionally wishes to be round you greater frequently. Labradors are too common. On the brilliant side, this indicates they're smooth to find. Unfortunately, this additionally manner you can get a lab domestic dog that isn't always well-bred. A top high satisfactory Labrador breed isn't always as reasonably priced as one might have you ever believe. For this reason, maximum breeders need to promote poorly bred labs at decreased charges to make greater profit. Chances are you may have a poorly bred doggy owing due to the fact they're a totally not unusual place breed. Labradors tend to be unhygienic. If you're massive on hygiene and keeping a smooth atmosphere, the Labrador might not be your go-to canine breed. For starters, they shed lots. They additionally dig holes to your yard. They bite on things, music and mud. Labs rub in opposition to your partitions greater than frequently and might go away marks. With unmarried tail movement, a lab can spill and knock down the whole thing in your espresso table.